Hey everyone, Ronnie Chavez here to play an interesting new game called Downward. I only found out about this game recently. It looks like a really interesting parkour game just from some gameplay footage I saw. And I'm like, this game looks awesome to play on my gaming channel. So I'm totally playing this game now to see what it's like. Um, it's got kind of a Mirror's Edge-esque type of first person parkour experience, but not in like a real city. It looks like a much more dystopia fantasy world. So anyways, I don't know a lot about it at this point. I'm just gonna dive into it and start playing. So hope you guys enjoy this and uh, we'll see how it goes. Resistant to threats, but prone to self-destruction when given too much power. Mankind. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Okay, right off the back, what this art style reminds me of is Ark, um, Survival Evolved. It's like a dinosaur survival game. Oh, what is this place? Cool. Guessing spaces to jump? Yeah. Weird floating glass platforms. Ooh, they even Where glow when I? you land on them. That's true. Where am I? <laughs> it's like... I mean, I saw this place in gameplay, but... Jump and hold space to climb. Here we go. Nice. Oh, thanks. What? Good to know. Yeah, so I... Whoa, that was a big jump. Yeah, this is very Mirror's Edge feeling. Um, just completely different world than Mirror's Edge. Dreaming <laughs> I would love to have dreams like this. Almost there. Almost where? <laughs> where am I even trying to go? Oh, probably down here. But that blue thing there. That's an anomaly. Whoa. It's like a springboard. <laughs> Wish I could front flip off of it. Okay, I'm pressing jump right now when I hit those, right. but I'm not sure if I need to. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't do anything unless you press the jump button when you're on top of it, so that's good to know, so I don't fall to my death. I like these just metal pillars, they're pretty cool looking. It's like, <laughs> that'd be interesting parkour structure to play on in real life. Whoa, oh, okay, that's like I'm floating, but no, just on a small ledge. Oh, this is where I'm going. I see. It's like a portal. <laughs> like in my Assassin's Creed video. Did you guys see that? I don't know if the people who follow me on this channel watch my parkour videos. I'm sure most of you are only watch this channel because of those videos, but... I must say, the visuals do look pretty good on this. I, I didn't really know what I was expecting, um, but I think it's a bit prettier than I was expecting. Though, it may not come across that great on YouTube, because YouTube just crushes things I record, I feel like. Wait, what it? Okay, I totally just missed what that said. It said, hit the pointer button for something. Whoa, that was cool. I just hit shift and he does like a little dash. Ooh, a statue. Interesting. Okay. Looks like I got some skills I can unlock. We got endurance, fortitude, um, perception, gains. Wisdom. Cool. I don't. I don't think I can buy anything right now. So, guessing I'll have to come back to that when I'm ready for some upgrades. It's just a 
half of a woman statue. <laughs> All right, here we go. Guess we're heading towards that, that marker right talking? there. It's possible there's still someone alive down here. <laughs> or I've finally gone crazy and I'm starting to hear voices. Yeah, probably that one considering where you're at right now. <laughs> okay. Ooh, slide. Nice. Knock those bricks over and jump. That is a sky piece. You can make it visible in your journey. Hey, hey, who are you? Show yourself. So these are. Oh, what the? I thought that was a sky piece, but it's just telling me a cool thing. Alright, let's try it. Nice like a cool little wall gym. Let's see if I can change the FOV on this. Um, just for me anyways, like I have a pretty big monitor and I always like seeing if there's an option to change the FOV, the field of view that's how wide it looks because I kind of like that like prefer a wider angle in most things There's more stuff down there should I be like a completionist and try and get everything or just power through this hmm kind of just depends on how much fun I'm having with the game if it's a really fun game then I, I go for completionist if it's like uh, I just kind of want to get through it for the story or whatever else, then, um, then yeah, I'll just, uh, get through it. Alright. It's like we're just trying to collect these things, and I guess I can't jump that high. Wait, I have to. There we go. Okay. Guess I just hit it wrong or something. Ooh, a knapsack. Canteen, I mean. In the hands of those who have nothing, a canteen to hold water, and the off chance you had enough drinkable water to feel the need to store it. Cool. Ooh. Does that mean I can collect water? Now that was a real person. I can I can hear her, but, but why can't I see her? Interesting. So if I just hold down space, it seems like you'll do everything automatically, which is kind of cool, I guess. Well, what the <laughs> I thought I was falling there, but nope, did a little wall tap pop up. That's kinda a little bit disappointing because I mean, I guess I guess it's cool, but it's like I personally prefer the more control a game gives you for parkour stuff, the more fun it is. Cause it's like I do parkour in real life, so you might as well Oh, didn't get it. So you might as well, you know, make it kind of a little bit more challenging. That's that's actually my only beef with most Assassin's Creed games, is I feel like it's just too automated. I doubt I'll make that jump. You ever, <laughs> you ever just play a video game and you're just like, oh, I wish I could do parkour here in real life. That'd be really cool. Oh, come on. Though, I don't know that I would try to do jumps like that in real life. That's pretty sketchy. Let's see what this little crystal is. Oh, uh... 
it. Oh, here's a fountain. Oh, okay. So the water heals you. So that's what a canteen is good for. I see. It's all making sense now. Whoa. I just had a deja vu, guys. You ever, you ever get deja vu? I just had deja vu playing this game. That's how weird this game is. As I <laughs> makes me think I've experienced it before or something. What are your theories on deja vu? Some people have some pretty crazy theories about it. Like... Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Like, one theory is that a deja vu is just two parallel universes intersecting, so you're kind of like... think you're seeing something you've already seen before, but you're actually just... crossing paths with another parallel universe in the same moment. Planet. Interesting. Just made everything dark. This is like... I think I just entered a parallel universe, guys. Oh, I see. Hmm, I wonder... Okay, so that's how I get to this guy. Gotta wait for the cacti to finish spinning around so I can jump to it. Yeah. There we go. Got that one. Oh, whoa, whoa, totally missed that jump. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, let's see. We'll jump down right here. Oh, okay. So, something I just learned about the control mechanics of this game, which actually make it realistic in this regard, is that when you're falling, you can't, once you have momentum, you keep falling that direction. You can't really... Oh, cool. It's like a little checkpoint. Nice. It's like Prince of Persia. Prince, Prince of Persia. Um, so anyways, what was I saying? I totally Great. forgot what I was saying. Some of his power was already within you. The rest is up to you. Now go on. Now hold on a minute. Now, who are you? And why are you helping me? Hey, hey, are you still there? Ugh. Oh yeah, I remember. So in this game, once you jump, like, you can't really control yourself in the air. Kind of like some games, how when you're falling you can... Oh! Like, I can turn where I'm looking, but I can't, like, change my momentum as I'm falling, which you can do that in a lot of first-person games. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be testing out this checkpoint thing. Oh, there we go. What button do I use to... Oh, sweet. Okay. Got that figured out. So if I set one here, and then I jump here, nice. Then I'm good. Alright, here we go, here we go. Underslide. All right, what's next? Void totems, or find the way to deactivate them. These and other ancient machines still patrol these lands. All right, I can handle that. I think. It got me a little bit. Yeah, I learned the the long wall run. Whoa. Like did an extra high wall run. Nice. Didn't make it. Does that mean I gotta do that all over again? Apparently.
Okay. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, nice. That was like a double jump wall run. Uh oh. That sound good. The arena. How do I get over there? Oh, there it is. So, is it just time that's changing? Looks like it. The sun's moving really fast. Whoa! Oh, oh. Ooh, water. Uh oh. Scary golem guy, here we go. I don't I don't really know how to fight though. Like What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to fight him? Or just like run away? Uh that did nothing. Well running pressure. Gotcha. So I guess I just run away from him. What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> clearly got this. Look at my weak point on my back. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh, I thought that was me for a second because I was just pushing buttons and all of a sudden all these ice spikes come up. What the heck? Maybe if I dash into it. Oh, there we go. So I just had to take it. Cool. That one's so bad. Yeah, so this is very like, um, so difference between a game like this and Mirror's Edge I feel like, which Mirror's Edge has this to an extent, but <clears throat> your path for doing parkour is very defined. There's no just like, um, free parkour anywhere you are, it's kind of like you can only do parkour on specific walls, which is how most video games Treat parkour. Let's see what's happening. Huh, that wasn't so tough after all. Yeah, that's the pretty easy. That you is a powerful energy source from the past. It has many purposes. Now use it to open that door. Woohoo! Oh, it worked. How do you know all this stuff? And where are you? That statue will allow me to help you with your path. You will find many more of them in this area. Make sure to have as many sky pieces as you can before seeking power from the statue. Alright, this looks like we're getting into the fun Prince of Persia style All right, what's next? parkour stuff. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. I want to hit that springy thing. Oh, oh, oh. I did. I did. <laughs> oh, it took me all the way back here. Lame. Alright guys, well, I think, I think this is a long enough of a video for now, so if you've stuck around this long, um, thanks for watching. I'll probably keep playing some more in the future. Um, cool. Looks like I can actually buy stuff now. I'll probably look into those, but for now, um, let me know if you guys want to see more downward gameplay. I've also been doing Rocket League lately, and also a new skateboarding game called Project Session, which I've started playing. I'll probably do a video on one of those here pretty soon. It's actually pretty fun. Um, new Kickstarter skateboarding game coming out so anyways uh, I'm looking forward 
to doing more videos. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we'll see you next time.